हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ़ यू आर हेयर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्राम इंजीनियरिंग स्टेटिक्स बाय मेरी मैन क्रेक एट एडिशन चैप्टर टू एंड द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट द कंट्रोल रॉड ए पी एग्जर्ट्स फोर्स एफ ऑन द सेक्टर इज शोन डिटर्मिन बोथ द एक्स वाई एंड द एन एन टी कम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ द फोर्स सो वी आर गिवन दैट दिस सेक्टर ऑफ ए सर्कल is and the force is applied on this sector through this rod ap and that force has a magnitude of uh, f and this force f which is acting through this rod uh, ap is applying a force at point p and this force is making beta angle with the um, vertical and the location of this point p is described with the help of this angle alpha so this point p is at a distance of alpha from this positive x axis so let's draw the free body diagram so this somehow this will be our free body diagram this will be point o the center of that uh, sector this is that point p and this line which is connected with that point p is making angle alpha so let me show that this angle is alpha and this is that force which is applied with the help of that rod ap and this force is a magnitude of f so we will show that this is f and this force is making angle beta uh, with the vertical so it's shown here so this is angle beta and this we are given that uh, first of all we have to find the x and y components so for x and y components we are given that this force f is making angle beta with the line which is parallel to the y axis and similarly if i copy or if i draw another horizontal line here so this line is parallel to the x axis and this line is parallel to the y axis so if if we are given the angle of this force with the with the y axis then we will have two components we will have f of y acting in the downward direction that is in the negative y and we will have f of x acting in the negative x direction so we will have f of x like this which is going to act in the negative x and we will have f of y which is going to act in the negative y direction now as we are given the angle with the with the line which is parallel to the y axis or we can say that we are given the angle um, which is adjacent to the f of y so if if the angle is adjacent with f of y then f of y is the cos component as i have already discussed in the previous videos of this playlist that y Uh, the component with which the angle is made is always the cos component so the angle is made with f of y then f of y is the cos component so we can say that the x and y components so we can say that f of y is the cos component so we can say that f of y will be f cos of beta and similarly f of x will be f sin of beta and since both are acting in the negative x and y direction so we have to put minus sign with them as well so f of y is minus f cos of beta and f of x is minus f sin of beta now the second task in this problem is that we have to find the n and t components as well so we will write n and t components so in order to find n and t components we must find the angle of this force with either the n axis or with the t axis so we need to know the angle of this force f with one of the n and t axis so now let me erase these uh, f of y and f of x components and now as you guys can see that this is this pink dashed line is let's say the positive n axis which is which is shown here which is given in the problem diagram so we can say that this is our positive n and a line which will be perpendicular to this will represent that tangential axis which is that t so this is this direction is our positive t so this is our positive n this is our positive t now we have to find the angle of this force with either the n axis or with the t axis so now as you guys can see that this line is perpendicular with this op line and this vertical line is perpendicular with the with this horizontal line so if this line is perpendicular with this line 
and this line is perpendicular with this line so if the angle between both of these lines is alpha then this angle is alpha as well so if the angle between both of these lines is angle alpha and at some point p there are two other lines which are perpendicular to this line and this line then the angle between those two lines will also be alpha so we can say that if this angle is alpha then this angle is alpha as well so we have to show that this angle is alpha as well and as you guys can see that if this is positive t, if this direction is positive t, then this direction is negative t. So let me show that this is negative tangential axis. And similarly, if I extend this line, if I extend this line, then this will be our negative n direction. So we can say this is our negative n. Now somehow we know the angle of this force f with that uh, t axis and which is alpha plus beta so we can say that this whole angle is alpha plus beta so let me show that this angle is now alpha plus beta now once we know the angle of this force f with any of n and t axis we can resolve this force f so now we can say that this will be f of t remember that the heads of the components must always coincide with the head of the given force so f of t will be, will be acting like this and f of n will be acting like this and now you guys can see that this is f of n and f of n is in the positive n direction and this is f of t and f of t is also in the positive t direction so both f n and f t components are the positive components so now we can say that um, this is f of n component and this one is f of t component and now as you guys can see that the same concept if the angle is made with f of t so the angle is adjacent to f of t then f of t is the cost component in terms of alpha plus beta so we can say that f of t is f cos of alpha plus beta and f of t is acting in the positive t direction so this is positive now we can say that f of n, if f of t is the cos component, then f of n is obviously the sine component. So we can say that this is f sine of alpha plus beta. And f of n is also acting in the positive n direction. This is the positive n direction. So we can say this is positive as well. So these are the x and y components. And we can say the scalar components. And these are f of t and f of n components for the given force, which is applied through that control rod AP. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this discussion will help you in solving such more problems from Engineering Statics by Miriam and Craig. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems.